What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm making a different kind of video for you guys. And uh, I promised you guys this video in the last video that I uploaded. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to set up, install, completely get everything set up on the new Trade Skill Master, which is Trade Skill Master 4. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. We're just going to look up Trade Skill Master. Now you can do this in whatever browser you have. Now you are going to need a couple things. You are going to need some sort of uh, file unzipper, 7-zip, uh, WinRAR, anything like that. Uh, I will have links to those in the description below. Now in order to get uh, t Trade Skill Master, you have to create an account. So creating an account is super simple, which you guys should know how to do this already. It's not very hard whatsoever. And it will just it'll ask you what your realm is and all that good stuff. So after you create your account, we're going to go to install TSM. Now we see here Trade Skill Master uh, WoW add-on. Now we need the TSM4 and the app helper. And as well as the app helper, uh, or sorry about that, the, you know, they're both right here. Show you, the, these are just all the newest updates and stuff like that. So we need both TSM and the app helper. So I'm going to download TSM by clicking on the link right there. It's going to go ahead and as you can see, uh, WinRAR uh, has already put it in there and I'm also going to click download on the app helper as well. And as you can see, it's going to take just a little bit of a second and it's going to go ahead and pop that up there as well. So after we have these right here, we're going to right click, open. Uh, if you have WinRAR like I have here, um, it's going to be super easy. You'd literally just right click and then of course the word in our trial and as we can see trade skill master popped up right here now there's a few ways you can do this the way that I've been doing it is after you have it in here you just pull it out and you can just set it on your desktop and it will automatically extract it to your desktop and then we're just gonna do the same thing with the other one so let me pop open Google Chrome real quick Oh, that was on my other uh, monitor here we go so I believe I opened let me see which one did I open uh, just the trade skill master app okay so we're going to go ahead and open the app helper now. And that annoying, you know, forever 40 day trial thing is going to pop up again. And let me go ahead and pull this over here. And as we see, this is the app helper. So I'm going to extract this to the desktop as well. After you've done that, so as we see here, we have Trace Go Master and then the app helper. So in order to put Trade Skill Master into our WoW add-ons, we want to right-click on our World of Warcraft icon or wherever you have it. Uh, if it's in your folders, you can also go to your folders and locate it that way. This is just the easiest way to do it, I think. We can open file location, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and go to Interface, Add-ons. And uh, as you can see, I have both Trade Skill Master and Trade in the App Helper uh, in here already. But really, all you're going to have to do is move it into Add-ons. As you can see, I already have both these in there, so I'm not going to put them in there. But just bol move both of these right into this folder right here. And you just, it's literally drag and drop, just like that. And then after you do that, you can go ahead and close out of that. And we're going to take us back to the TSM website. In one second here. Go to install TSM. Now, if you guys do need any uh, extra help or I want to say anything, you know, such as that, you can uh, download that as well. So after you're logged in and we got both the WoW add-on and the app helper, we want to download the app itself. Now in order to download the app, you have to be logged in. And all this does is basically it gathers all your um, like realm data, all that good stuff, all your tunes, just like that. So you're going to have to install that as well too. Obviously I'm not logged in. I don't really want to show everybody you know, my account. But all you have to do is we go through the same exact process with the app. Uh, we're going to click download, extract it, put it on our desktop, and then open the application itself when it is on your desktop. As you see, it will actually look just like this, this little right here. So all we have to do after we do have this installed, oh, as you can see, it's already running because it does uh, minimize into the background. Give me one second here. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and just quit this exit. Okay, there we go. Alright, let me see if I can find it. There we go. So we're going to click on the Trace Skill Master application, uh, as it always does run in the background. And it's basically just going to ask you some simple stats, like uh, 
you know, what server you're on, what realm you're on, and all that good stuff. You don't have to mess with any of this. In fact, I recommend you don't. And it'll, the setup process for this is just super easy. It's literally just saying what realm you're in and just stuff like that. So that was it for the install portion of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go towards the more complicated part. Uh, TSM has kind of made it easier with TSM4, so it's not as complicated, but they probably would help with a little bit of a walkthrough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, and then I'll show you all the, like, uh, posting prices, listed prices, everything, all that mumble jumbo. So I'm going to cut the video now and I will see you in game and I'm going to explain all that to you. All right, everybody, we're back after that cut. And I'd like to ask before I go ahead and start this portion of the video, if you guys, uh, you know, are interested in any like computer gear or anything like that, uh, I have a ton of links in the description like of my setup and stuff that can just help you if you're looking to start a YouTube channel or something like that. But so this is the TSM startup. So what we're going to do right now is, as you can see, we logged in the game and we have this new little icon up here. It's called Trade Skill Master. If it's not up there, you can go ahead and go to Interface and then Add-ons and you can restart your add-ons if you need to. Now if it is there when you do get in there, we're going to go ahead and click on Trade Skill Master. And as you can see, it's going to pop up this weird little group and stats and stuff like that. So currently we are not interested in anything that's going on right here. The best thing or the thing that we're going to do as soon as we open this up is we're going to go to operations and we're going to go to auctioning and as you see here uh, our default operation for auctioning uh, is already set up for us so if we click posting here this is the default posting uh, like way that TSM has it set up for people now this is new with TSM4 so this makes it super easy for new people to start so as soon as you go ahead and start up this uh, you know TSM you are instantly ready to go ahead and start posting things on the auction house. So if you look here, they also set up uh, the best minimum price for you. And this really works for just about everybody. If you're just starting gold farming, this is a great place to start because it literally sets up everything for you. So since this is the default, it's always going to use this operation to go ahead and uh, put things on the auction house. Now, in addition to that, since you really don't have to do anything, we do have to do one additional thing, which I will fly to the auction house so I can show you. And I know this is not my normal character, as most people will probably be telling me shortly or something like along those lines. We're going to go ahead, enter our auction house, and then we'll open this up one more time real quick. And we're going to click groups. So this is very important because this is what allows you to sell your items. So the default group right here, um, if you click the default auctioning group, you should be okay. You can literally just use this. I have uh, my own custom group personally because that's the way I like things. Um, if you just create a new one, like I just did there, new group, auctioning, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and hit default. That's all you need to do. You really need to do nothing else than that. Now, in addition to this, the way that we add items to go ahead and put them on the auction house is we click away from group operations after we create a new group and we're going to click add and remove items what this is going to do is this is going to show all the items that are in your uh, backpack right here that are not listed in the grouped items so what we're going to do is if we have this and as you can see it sells for about 158 gold so we're going to click that and we're basically clicking all the gear that we get from whatever farm we did or something along those lines and we're just going to add them to the group now, when we go ahead and click on the auction house, we're going to get this interesting little pop-up. And I know this can be kind of confusing for some people, but really I'm just focused on the auctioning part because this is for gold farmers is what I'm intending this video for, not for people that are really crafting and doing all that extra stuff. If you do want to set up the full guide of everything about TSM, I have a link in the description to uh, this lovely lady on YouTube. Her name is... Uh, Zion Lick, I think so. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. But the link to her video that covers literally everything on TSM, probably way better than I could do it, is uh, in the description below. So definitely go check out that video if you guys would like more information on it. It is a half hour long video, but it goes really in depth with stuff that I really can't, you know, talk on. So after we go ahead and uh, open up the auction house, we click auctioning, and then we're going to go ahead and just click run post scan. And all it's going to do is scan everything in your inventory for whatever can be posted on the auction house. And it's going to go ahead and just post them all. Obviously, I don't have any of the things in my inventory because I already posted them. But they just pop up here and all you have to do is hit post. Now, if there's an item that is on the list that you don't want to sell, of course, always make sure you look 
what items pop up on this list so if you don't want to sell it you hit skip and you do want to sell it you hit post and that is literally it now if this is too confusing and like looking up for auctions or anything like that you can always click this top little button up here which switches you back to the wow U ui now in order to go back to the auction a1 for tsm the easiest way to do that is just click tsm right there and it'll pop right back up and uh, you can do this for every uh, NPC character you know anything like that so as I'm gonna show you right now we're gonna walk in here we're gonna click on the innkeeper, innkeeper um, and we're gonna click let me rush your goods and as you can see we have a button up here it might be default at this and may or may not be um, as you can see we actually have the ability to sell all uh, stuff like that and of course this is showing the gold potential that you could get on the auction house for this uh, item so as we see here uh, we could do, you know, sell BOE, sell trash, sell all. There's, it's quite uh, streamlined now. So, and if this is too confusing for you or something like that, and you just want to go ahead and go back to the WoW UI, you just click that button right there. Nice. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this uh farm or not farm sorry i don't know why i thought it was farm this uh tsm setup guide uh leave me a like or a comment in this description below and also um i'm really excited i just got a new pair of headsets so hopefully the quality is better uh, I, i'll link those in the description below as well if you want to check out my headset or something like that but you know just in case you want something that sounds similar to this but uh yeah so i'll put all those links in the description below and uh thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video